we pulled the kayaks up on this little ledge here just because hey this is the terror race boats love to come by uh, especially at uncharted speeds <laughs> through here these guys would just go flying causing a huge wake and for our little boats like this tied up to the side it'll basically just beat right up against the side of the wall or it'll even flip over sometimes the wake will get under the boat and turn it over so just to completely mitigate that and completely eliminate that from even being a possibility of happening we brought these up on this ledge here set them down very gently and basically that just eliminates the possibility of these things getting turned over or completely destroyed by getting beat up on the rocks hello guys my name is gabriel roberts from roberts bushcraft today we're going to be doing something pretty cool as you'll see here i have my grand trunk ultra light hammock this thing has been with me now for probably almost five or six years or oh, longer probably. since 2014 or so right so maybe even six or seven who knows anyways needless to say i've had this thing for a long time today we're going to be testing out a few mosquito nets now we're out here at the river it's july mosquitoes are a huge issue and if you don't have a hammock something like the uh, skeeter breeder pro from grand trunk or a hammock that just has a bug net on it it's going to really it's going to be a big issue for you because not only are is it hot outside but of course with that comes the bugs so when you have those huge mosquitoes eating you all night that's just not fun now there are, the way this is set up i actually almost like this a little bit better than the grand trunk because you don't have to have any sleeping mat up underneath you to keep the mosquitoes from biting you underneath this covers you all the way around let's check it out So guys, we're going to take this nut and go ahead and hang it on this hammock. So all I'm doing here, I've just unzipped this middle zipper here, the only zipper on this, just to give me a little bit more uh, room to work around with. So a little more ease of use. Down at one end, actually both ends, where the hammock will come through, it's got a drawstring. Just loosen that up all the way so I can... Pretty much just hold it on the inside and slip it over my hammock. So basically just passing it straight through. Now I'm going to feed it through the other side here. Trying to get it unbunched. There we go. it's out the other side basically all I'm gonna do really quick is just attach this back up to my line here so it doesn't go anywhere okay come on down here we'll cinch this drawstring up and if you notice that can get extremely tight even around this cord up here it's nice and tight and that's exactly what you want when you're trying to keep the mosquitoes and other bugs out. Check that out. So, we're going to head on down to the other end. Do the same thing. You can do this a few different ways. Uh, what we're going to be doing, running a ridge line up top, hooking this on. Another way you can do it is run a ridge line through this thing so you can use the bag that's provided in order to hang that pouch up.
So I wanted to show you really quick some of the accessories that come with this bug net. Here you have the, or in my mind, what I think they provide for a ridge line. Seems to be a little bit of a longer cord, whereas right here you have two shorter cords with this attachment as well to help you form the guide lines. You also have two aluminum tent pegs. So one of the easiest ways that we found to stake tent stakes out in this rocky terrain, put the loop up like that just by taking the end of the line, running the tent stake underneath these two lines in the middle. What it essentially creates is a girth hitch right here on the end of the line. And then basically what we like to do, go straight down to the ground with it. We'll just pick a good sized rock, lay that down, put that rock on top of it, and then that tent stake is caught right behind it. And it works out perfect. Any size tent stake, any shape, works out great. So I like this tie out right here on this bug nut. As you'll notice, it's reinforced. I like that because obviously a tie out directly to this mesh you know of course it might would have the chance of pulling right out but when you have a nice reinforced section that it's sewn into I feel like that makes it a little bit stronger and I do enjoy that so as you can see there just by guying these two corners out staking it out it gives you a little bit more room inside I feel like I would definitely do that where I'd be laying my head just to give me a little more room up there. Hey, let's hop in. All right, check it out. This is one of the setups you'll kind of have to play around with to find out where the happy medium is for you. As you guys can see, there's uh, plenty of room overhead. And we've also got room underneath. And that is equally as important. Yes. Because mosquitoes can right. bite through yes. your hammock. Vicious creatures. You know, honestly, having these tied out right here is nice because of your shoulders. Especially like me, pretty wide guy. If I were to sit down in here without these being staked out, my shoulders would probably press up against it. But, and then of course a mosquito could land on the bug net and bite my arm or my shoulder. So, having it got out like that, I've got space all the way around me. So that's extremely nice. What well, little breeze is blowing right now, I can still sort of feel it through here. You're going to get some blockage with these nets, That's but... True. I would much rather be hot and out of the breeze than completely eaten up by mosquitoes. <laughs> I'm with you on that. So one thing I just noticed in here, just taking a little look around, there's a little hook right up here in front of me. Now, uh, of course, that's just another point where you could hang something up, maybe even like a battery-powered lantern, something of that nature, just to have something right there. Again, you wake up in the middle of the night, you need to have a little light. It's a good place to put it. So one of the easiest ways that Dad and I have found to set this thing up 
run your hand all the way through to the other side. So basically start at one end, come in all the way through the other, just like that. And now basically all he's gonna do is just take the hammock and begin to pull it through. Just like that. Here we are at bug net number two. So this thing has really the only difference between this bug net and the one that we set up previous to this is that this one has a different shaped door. You'll notice the door on this one. It's kind of rounded off. It's also got reinforcements around the zipper so you're not getting snagged up on any of the bug net. Compared to the other one, as you'll see there, zipper down the center, no reinforcements around the side. So right off the bat, this is really just a first look at this thing. We noticed there is a hole right here. See my finger, I can go right through it. It's just a little bit of bad stitching. And uh, that can easily be fixed with tenacious tape, sewing kit, duct tape even, anything can really fix that. It's not a huge hole either, but I thought it was worth mentioning First time having this thing really out of the package, setting it up, and it does have a hole in it. It's a nice breeze on this death degree day. Oh, another thing, if you orientate this thing correctly, where the top of the zipper is at your head, this will make it a lot easier to open and close. Because the zipper is right up here in front of your face. goes right underneath you. Nice. Well, pretty nice. Again, just for that one little hole right here. Yep. Only thing. Other than that, I really like this thing. This has a hook in the center as well. So that's just a Again, these are basically the exact same bug net, just this one has a little bit different of a door with some reinforcements. This is actually a very thin material right here, a piece that does have a hole in it, these reinforcements. So that might be prone to happen either way. So we've now run the ridge line through the inside of this just by going through the drawstring at the top on each end. Also run the bag in here. As you can see, it's open on one end, closed on the other. For you to be able to put bigger items, something like a, uh, how do we say, maybe a modern self-defense kind of device there. We'll let you determine what that is. Here in these pockets, me all the time, I like to have a watch on me. Go to lay down at night, take that watch off. It's perfect right there. Lay down, go to sleep, wake back up in the morning, watch goes back on. So it's nice to have a little bag right there. Well, hang on, let's just go ahead and do a little, little dump. So watch would go up there, knife, normally go in a pouch like this as well. Could even, if I wanted to. This is a good idea of size comparison as well. Here in this bag, on the inside, throw the phone in there. That's starting to kind of weigh this ridge line down a little bit. But it just shows you how much stuff that you really could put in there. You got a bit of an angry sky back that way. Probably have some storm systems moving in before too long. It's a little tighter when you put the guy lines in there with it. But, as you can see, still fits. Works just fine. Straighten it out. Has a little strap up top. Just goes around. Cinches down. 
basically what I would do. Just kind of push that together. Or even something like that. Check that out. Nice. Now it's nice, secure. You can compress it a lot more than that. Nice. Alrighty folks, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Hey, let us know what you thought about these nuts. Personally, I'm on the fence as far as whether I like it or not. I do like the idea of it as far as the design. It's smart having an area on top, underneath you, being able to guide out for your shoulders. As far as that goes, I like it. But the build quality and materials, I'm not thrilled about. Having a hole right out of the box, is not good in my opinion uh, of course you know me and dad we love to put our gear through just through what we like to do out here again set it up in a clear area probably wouldn't have many issues but when we start hitting deeper into the woods going deeper into the trails and uh you know things get snagged sometimes let us know though do you like it? Have you had any experience with this or anything similar? Hit that applaud button if it's on your heart. As always, may the wings of liberty never lose a feather, and God bless.